I would never call myself a monarchist or even a fan of the royal family. I didn't watch any of the weddings, didn't really take part in anything for the Jubilee, apart from the sitting around drinking with my friends part. I never really was interested in any gossip about them or what their family members were doing. Um, on the flip side of that, I didn't really want them abolished. I'm ambivalent to the royal family. I'm happy to let them just be. However, I find myself sad, like unexpectedly sad and you might be finding yourself sad as well and it took me a while to work out why I'm feeling unexpectedly sad so I wanted to share that with you today in case you are also feeling unexpectedly sad or you're having unexpected feelings that you're not linking you're not calling sad and you're not linking to the death of the queen um but you might be feeling something, you might be feeling a bit confused about this, and this is perfectly normal at this time. As um, a world, as a country, as a group, we have been through massive trauma in the past couple of years. There is very few people, if anybody, who have managed to escape the past couple of years, the pandemic, untraumatized, were undamaged, whether that's emotionally, whether that's physically, whether it's knowing somebody who's been affected, we have all been negatively affected by what has happened in the past couple of years. And the death of somebody that maybe we didn't know or maybe we've never actually met shouldn't affect us. But I find myself unexpectedly affected and unexpectedly sad by this. And I think the reason because of this is that the Queen was always a constant throughout this. And when things are constant, when things are steady, we can pretend that we are in control. When things are going right, when things are not changing, we can pretend that we are in control and we can influence what is happening. However, when things change, when people die unexpectedly, we are reminded that we are mortal and that we are not in control of what is happening. We saw pictures of the Queen a couple of days before she died and she didn't look ill, she was working. Nobody could have predicted in a couple of days after that photo was taken that she would be dead. And she probably reminds us of our elderly relatives. My nan is 92 years old and she is not ill. But that doesn't mean she's not going to be dead in two days time, which is heartbreaking because I will be devastated when that happens. But the same is true for nearly every single person we know. Just because they are here and healthy and alive today doesn't mean that that's going to be the same case at the end of the weekend or on Monday. And the... The, the the massive like um collective grief that the country is feeling at the moment just reminds us and just compounds on all the trauma that we've been through over the past couple of years that we are not in control of things and it's probably even if you don't feel sad you're probably feeling confused you're probably feeling something or just a slight melancholy and I think that is the feeling around at the moment. Just a slight feeling of melancholy, of vulnerability, that we are not in control and we've been through a lot and surely things need to start getting better at some point in the future, right? Like we've done the bad stuff. Surely things need to start getting better soon. You with me, right? But then you look at the news and it doesn't look like things are going to get any better and things are just going to get sadder. Um, so if you are struggling with confusing feelings um, this weekend, there are lots of people that you can talk to. Um, there are Samaritans you can talk to. The Good Grief Trust is an excellent charity that specialises in feelings of grief, um, young minds. All of these are available to contact in ways that are very very accessible so on twitter on email you don't have to call people up you don't have to actually speak to somebody in person um so if you are fear facing unexpected feelings this weekend please remember this is a completely normal thing for you to be going through at the moment um 
and these feelings will pass we will get over it i'm not saying they're completely gone but feelings of grief do fade over time they do lessen as we um move on with our lives which is a horrible thing to say but um it won't always feel this bad <laughs>